I get rolling sometimes and I, you can tell when I get excited. I get really excited when I talk about like how I've been able to kind of create those, those relationships and like grow and so forth. Cause I failed a lot. My goodness. I've tried so many different ways of reaching people That's and good, well, <laughs> yeah, but then I guess you run into that time where you, you second guess yourself and you're like, I don't know. I guess like, how is this my real life? Like, how do I get paid to do this? How do I, this is crazy to me, but it's amazing at the same time because it's like, you know, you're supposed to do what you're passionate about. So, yeah. I mean, where do I, where it do I? It finally be? hit me that like probably about a year and a half, almost two years ago, I started doing a lot of reflecting of, you know, how much I had missed how much I missed family um, and people, uh, just being around people. And travel, thankfully, with Lavelle, gave me the opportunity to see things I had never seen in my life, because I never, I never went really anywhere when I was growing up. My parents didn't take yearly vacations. They just couldn't afford it. When I heard these women I'd were story making- story myself, but I probably, I've definitely shared her story a million times more than I've shared mine. I grew up though where my dad believed I could do anything that I, I wanted. Um, and I'm lucky because of that. I was very lucky to have that kind of belief poured into me um, early on. I was afraid, uh, I mean, I was afraid of failing but I wasn't afraid to start or put in the work. So I was afraid of failing until I realized that it wasn't, it wasn't about, I could only fail if I quit. You learn a new way. If you don't know how to do something, you find a new way and you find your path. Um, and that's where this business, working from home, people can say they don't have the money, they don't have the time, they don't have um, the network. Well, what if we can figure it out for them? What if we can show you how to grow the network? What if we can show you how to create time? What if we can show you how to get the money? You know, I think that's something that people need. People need to know that this opportunity doesn't matter how, if you grew up like I did, you grew up with all kinds of money. It doesn't matter. You know, money is not what determines what your future is. Um, you determine that and then you can make all the money you want. I mean, everybody wants to make money, right? <laughs> I personally came... When I went to the leadership retreat in Colorado um, a couple years ago, I bought my first Louis Vuitton, okay? Because it was a reward to myself when I hit Millionaire's Club. I was like, I'm not ever buying it until then. And now I'm like, I'll probably never buy another one again. Because <laughs> I grew up... Um, and you can totally edit this stuff out too if you want, or you can use it, it doesn't matter. But um, I grew up in apartments and trailers and um, moving around a lot. And my parents divorced when I was 10. So like I never lived in a house and I never lived somewhere that my parents owned. Um, so that was super important to me that I wanted to provide for you know, my kids. And I, I did that. Um, like I said, I, I got divorced this last year you know, last year, um, and I left that. I left that, and that was hard, but my oldest daughter said something to me that really made me realize, like, I was doing things for the right reasons, because she said, Mom, a house is not a home. <laughs> Home's wherever you are. I'm gonna cry again, Jesus Louise. So, uh, when I tell you that this is the most home I've ever felt, and yeah, that's it's it's heavy. You know, I am no one special, you guys. I was a busy nurse, um, mom, wife. I have gone through a lot. After a decade in this industry, I can say that this company has changed my life. These vitamins um, have changed my life. Uh, 
I cannot even imagine how the rest of the story is going to go, but I definitely want to make sure that people know it doesn't matter where you came from, what your background is, as long as you have work ethic and want to change your life and help other people, you've got to be willing to learn. You've got to be willing to put in the work. You're going to clock in somewhere, right? Might as well clock in for yourself. And yeah, you can change your whole life. And don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Don't try to be like somebody else. Just be you and keep on showing up. So anyways, I'm glad I got to share a little bit of my story. Thank you for watching. And as you can see, I'm not perfect, but I am absolutely, absolutely um, passionate about helping others and changing lives, both mine and everyone else that will listen to me.